Desperate Housewives star Felicity Huffman is finally speaking out about her role in that college admissions scandal known as Operation Varsity Blues. Huffman, as you may recall, pleaded guilty to paying $15,000 to falsify her daughter's SAT scores. It's a crime that sent the Emmy-winning actress to prison. Stephanie, Steph, CNN Stephanie Elam is, is here with the story. And Stephanie, uh, Huffman says she initially thought her arrest was a joke. Yeah, she did not think that anything this serious would happen to her. And, you know, she was one of 33 wealthy parents who were using that wealth and their influence to work to try to get their kids to cheat to get them into these top-notch colleges. She says the way it went down, and this is the first time we're hearing from her, she really did not think it was a real deal. In fact, take a listen to what she told uh, our affiliate KABC. They woke my daughters up. At gunpoint, again, nothing new to the black and brown community. Um, then they put my hands behind my back and um, handcuffed me, and I asked if I could get dressed. And I thought it was a hoax. She says, hindsight being 2020, that she really felt like she was going to be a bad mother if she did not go through with this plan uh, as it was all coming to her as she was hearing about this and that she wasn't going to be able to get her daughter into school without doing it. Um, in fact, listen to a little bit more of how she explains her decision process to arrive where she did. I had to give my daughter a chance at a future. Um, and so it was sort of like my daughter's future which meant I had to break the law. I kept thinking, turn around, just turn around. And to my uh, undying shame, I didn't. Yeah, she talks a lot about her shame. Uh, she also apologized, quote, to the students and families that sacrifice and work really hard to get to where they are going legitimately. In December 2019, she was sentenced to 14 days in prison. She also got a year of probation, 250 hours of community service on top of a fine of $30,000, Jake. Why is she speaking out now? That's what everyone wanted to know. It's like, why now? Like, why are we talking about this? Well, it has a lot to do with that community work that she started doing. She started volunteering at an organization called A New Way of Life. It's a nonprofit that helps previously incarcerated women get back on their feet with housing, clothing, job training, all of that. And so she started working there. The founder of the organization said that she was just going to put Huffman at a desk. But instead, she said, no, I really do want to work. So she started coming up with exercise programs. She started organizing the donations that were, they were getting and has now joined the board of directors. So really putting in the work and now trying to use her infamy in this case to highlight the good work of this organization in South LA. All right, Stephanie Elam, thank you so much.